Hello and welcome. In this short instructional video I'd like to show you how to properly use the compound light microscope. The microscope is now plugged in, uh, but before we can turn on the microscope there are a few things that we have to take off, care of first. Um, first of all we have to make sure that the correct objective is rotated into position. And you always start off with the lowest power objective first. This is the 4x objective, which is also color-coded with a red ring. Um, be careful that you do not, when rotating the 4x objective into position, make care, uh, take care that there is a sufficient space between the stage and the objective. Otherwise, there's the danger of crashing the, um, the other objective into the stage. So rotate the 4x objective into position and then use the coarse focus knob, the big one, to raise the stage to the highest position. And you will notice that um, the stage blocks and uh, cannot be rotated further and there is still sufficient space between the slide stage and the objective. So there uh, there's no danger of crashing the stage into the objective here. Next, uh, have a look uh, beneath the stage, and beneath the stage you will, can see uh, the condenser. And the condenser can be raised and lowered by turning a knob. Make sure that the condenser is raised all the way towards the top. We have just raised the condenser to the topmost position. And now it's time to adjust uh, the condenser aperture diaphragm. Here um, in front there is a horizontal lever that can be moved uh, towards the left and towards the right. And for focusing it's best if you move the lever all the way to the right uh, towards the position which is labeled 0.1. It's the lowest uh, position over here. And by moving it all the way to this position we both increase the depth of field and we also increase the contrast. So this makes focusing much easier. Later on when we use the higher um, magnification objectives um, it may be useful to move the lever further to the left because this also increases the light intensity somewhat. Um, please remember that this lever is not uh, used to control light intensity. Um, it does change the light intensity, but this is only, should be only seen as a side effect. Um, this, is, this lever is important for adjusting contrast um, and depth of field, uh, but should not be used for adjusting light intensity. For right now, we move it all the way towards the right. This particular microscope is equipped with a so-called trinocular head. Most educational microscopes do not have this. Um, it's a trinocular head because over here this is the third tube. It's a so-called photo tube for attaching a camera. Um, many educational microscopes uh, either have a binocular head, there are only two eyepieces, or a monocular head where there is uh, only one eyepiece. Now if you have a binocular or a trinocular head attached to your microscope, um, then there is, uh, it, there is the possibility of adjusting um, one eyepiece by rotating the eyepiece at the base here and uh, this is for adjusting uh, for the different vision that you may have on your left and on your right eye. Some people have uh, one eye which is worse than the other eye and this one is uh, used to compensate for this difference. If you're using glasses or contact lenses while using the microscope then it should be set to zero. If your two eyes are different from each other and you do not use glasses or contact lenses, then it may be necessary to adjust for the different vision by rotating one of these eyepieces here. When placing a slide on the stage, just make sure it's all moved all the way, you move it all the way in. Do not try to fix the slide here um, at the front. Okay, it's very unstable. Okay, make sure that it's moved, that you move it all the way in. Okay, so number one and number two, you use then the mechanical stage um, by turning the two knobs on the side to center the specimen. You center the specimen by turning these two knobs here on the side. 
if you turn the top one then you're moving the stage in forward and backward and if you turn the bottom knob then you're moving the stage sideways actually you're not moving the stage at all you're just moving the the, the slide holder here at the top and you have to make sure that the specimen is properly centered um, many beginners uh, forget about this and they attempt to look at the slide label and then they're surprised that it cannot see anything um, so always make sure it's centered okay we are now ready to go we can now turn on the microscope always make sure that uh, the light intensity is set all the way to low before flicking the main power switch this is uh, to prevent uh, the light bulb from receiving a high electrical voltage um, the cold light bulb receiving a high electrical voltage which may actually break the light bulb so we turn the light intensity all the way to low I flick the switch and then I gradually raise the light intensity I increase the light intensity with the low power objective being in place right now and the stage raised all the way to the top I'm now going to look through the microscope and I'm now going to lower the stage until the specimen is in focus okay now it's in focus I then recenter the specimen using the mechanical stage and I can then switch to the next higher power from now on I'm only going to use the fine focus knob that's the small one over here otherwise there is the danger that I'm crashing the slide into the objective if I use the big one here okay so always use the small low power um, not the low power the, the small fine focus knob when using the higher powered objectives so I can I'm now going to refocus the specimen I can recenter it a little bit and then I'm going to switch again to the next higher power. I use only the fine focus knob and the higher power objectives also require me to open up the uh, condenser aperture diaphragm a little bit. So I do that at the same time the light intensity is also increased so I may have to decrease the light intensity over here again. I recenter. I'm now able to uh, focus through the different layers of the specimen by turning the fine focus knob and then I'm switching over to the next higher power okay I recenter I refocus and I'm also going to adjust the condenser aperture diaphragm again a little bit okay at a higher power right now the light intensity is already quite low so I may have to increase the light intensity over here again a little bit okay so uh, this um, is basically how it works uh, before um, looking at a different uh, specimen slide I would recommend that you turn the revolver over here to reposition the low power objective and then you can remove the slide safely and you can replace it with a different slide. We're now going to have a look um, at the same procedure um, through um, a camera. We are now looking at uh, the image uh, seen through the 4x objective. It's uh, very much out of focus and now I'm lowering the stage by turning the course focus adjustment knob and I think the image is now very nicely in focus that was a little bit too much we, I rotated back so um, the image is now in focus um, I now use the two knobs to center the mechanical stage, to, to move the mechanical stage to center the image and now I can rotate the next objective, the 10x objective into position and 
here it is. Um, you notice that uh, the image is now again slightly out of focus and now I only use the find focus knob to focus the image. And I center the place that I would like to observe. Let's have a look at this one here. Okay, I refocus a little bit here and I rotate the next objective into position. It is now again slightly out of focus. I use the find focus knob only to focus the image and of course also to recenter the image over here. So this is now the 20x objective. Not every educational microscope has a 20x objective. But the next one most microscopes do have and that's now the 40x objective which is now in place. Of course I have to focus the specimen and I move the slide to recenter the object of interest. And notice when I turn the fine focus knob you can see that it's possible to look uh, through the different layers of the specimen. Different parts start to move in and out of the focus as I slightly turn the fine focus knob. It's really important that at this point that you do not touch the coarse focus knob. You may crash the slide into the objective otherwise. So, and uh, basically what you would like to do now is maybe you'd like to look at a different slide. So what do you do? Um, of course you rotate back and you insert, you move the 4x objective again into position and then you can exchange the slide with a different one and I forgot my slide box. Okay now I've got it and uh, we're going to look at, this one is a cross section of a flower and when I move the next one into position in, with using the 4x objective, um, the whole procedure starts again. Um, I can here use the coarse focus knob to focus the specimen. Um, then I move the next objective into place and I refocus. Okay, and the next objective and I refocus. Um, at this uh, point I'd also like to show you the effect of the um, iris diaphragm of the condenser, the condenser aperture diaphragm. Let's have a look at this part over here. Um, and uh, when you, uh, right now the condenser aperture diaphragm is halfway open, so that's uh, basically not the thing that it should have been. Uh, but when I close it you can actually see that the image becomes darker um, and also the contrast increases and uh, when you open the condenser aperture diaphragm uh, the image becomes brighter. Now the camera compensates uh, the exposure a little bit so the effect is uh, not as notable, noticeable but this one here is closed right now and here you open it. Um, and uh, what you do is the following uh, you can use then the light intensity over on the side to adjust the brightness. So this one right now is the light intensity and this one over here is now the condenser aperture diaphragm. Okay, um, this was a very basic uh, introduction into the micro uh, to the microscope. Um, I hope that this uh, video uh, helps you a little bit. Not only find uh, find your uh, hope does that does not only give you an easier time finding the um, specimens of interest under the microscope, but also that uh, the microscopes. Um, are prevented from uh, damage this way uh, because uh, microscopes uh, when they're properly used um, can last quite a long time uh, but when they're not properly used when you start uh, crashing the objective into the slide um, or other problems then of course the lifespan of the microscope is also reduced and that's of course uh, not necessary. So um, I wish you all the best. Bye bye.